Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS of the Dell Precision T7910 workstation. So let's get started. First thing first, we got to download the BIOS update. So I'll just type in support.dell.com. It redirects me to their support site. Uh, we'll click on browse all products, workstations, fixed workstations, and Precision Tower 7910. Okay, once we get here, we'll click on drivers and downloads. And immediately you'll see the BIOS uh, update listed here on top as urgent. Um, if you don't see this listed here, you can filter this list by clicking uh, under operating system, say uh, BIOS, and then that should narrow it down. So if you click on this, you'll see that this was released on July 10th, 2019, so um, just about a week ago and this is a uh, version a31 and so let's go ahead and download this all right so here is the file this is a uh, executable that's meant to be run in dos or windows but um, one of the nice things about uh, updating the BIOS on the T7910 is that you actually don't need an operating system installed at all. And so in order to do that, what you need is a fat uh, formatted USB drive. And uh, I happen to have my FreeDOS uh, drive here, so I'm going to use that. You don't actually need FreeDOS, but that just happens to be uh, fat formatted. So I'm going to cut this uh, file and uh, I have a folder named Dell, so I will just put it in there. Okay, so now that that's on my um, USB flash drive, I'm gonna put that in the workstation, and in the next segment here, I'll show you how to use that to update the BIOS without actually booting an operating system. Okay, so we've plugged in the USB drive where we save the BIOS update file. And now we're booting up the machine. As soon as we see the Dell logo, we need to press on the F12 button. Okay, so there's the Dell logo. I'm holding down the F12 button. Okay, and since I don't have a boot drive configured on this system, I have to hit F1. All right, and then we get to this menu. So in this menu, we have to go to the other options. And just using the arrow key, I'm going down to the BIOS flash update. And I'll hit enter. All right, at this point, you really need a mouse, so make sure you have a mouse connected. We're gonna go and click on the triple dot here, and we basically have to identify the file we're gonna use. So we put it in the Dell folder, and here's the BIOS update pro, uh, program that we downloaded. So I'll click OK here. And it's detected that this is for the Precision Tower 7910, which is good, that's exactly what we have. And it has a revision A31. And so on our system currently, we have A29, so that, this is definitely a newer version. So we're going to press begin flash update. And do we want to proceed? Yes. All right, so here it is doing the BIOS uh, flash update. Make sure to have uh, reliable power when you're doing this so that there's no power interruptions. I have my systems usually on a UPS. All right, so it looks like it's completed and it's automatically rebooting at this point. When it comes back up, we'll press the F2 to get into the BIOS and just confirm that we are now on version A31. Okay, that was the Dell logo and I'm now holding out F2 to get into the BIOS. All right, so if we click on system information, we'll see that BIOS version is A31, so that is a successful BIOS update and uh, that's how it's done. So this was actually done even without an operating system installed. You simply had to have the BIOS update program that you downloaded on a USB drive. So that's how it's done guys. I uh, hope that was helpful to you and if you liked it please uh, hit the like for me and be sure to subscribe to see other videos from me. Thank you very much. Bye bye.